hello everyone and welcome to another video today we're gonna be talking about SS Rex the SS Rex was an Italian ocean liner launched in 1931 she held the Westmount Blue Ribbon between 1933 and 1935 originally built for the Navigazione Generale Italiana as SS Guglielmo Marconi its state ordered merger with the Lloyd Sabodo line means that the ship sailed for the newly created Italia Flota Reu Reunit or Italian line. Rex operated transatlantic crossings from Italy with its running mate Conti de Savoia prior to the outbreak of Second World War. Rex maintained a commercial service in the Mediterranean Sea for a short period, but when Italy entered the war in June 1940, Rex was laid up for safekeeping. On 18th of September 1944 off Koper, Rex was hit by cannon fire and 123 rockets sent by Royal Air Force aircraft caught fire from stern to stern. She rolled onto the port side, burned for four days, and sank in shallow waters. The ship was broken up at the side jam beginning of 1950. Following North German's Lloyd's successful capture of the Blue Ribbon with its Bremen and Europa duo of ocean liners, Rex was intended, intended to be Italy's effort to do the same. Amid intense competition from other steamship companies, the Italian line carried out an extensive publicity campaign for its two largest liners, Rex and Conte di Savoia. Both ships were dubbed the Riviera float. To carry the theme even further, sand was scattered in the outdoor swimming pools, creating a beach-like effect highlighted by French lines Ile de France in 1927. Rex's sister ship, Conte de Savoia, followed this rule, but also had rooms with classic style like her first-class social room, also known as Colonial Hall. The ship's exterior design has followed the trend sent by Germany's Bremen and Europa. Rex sported a long hull with a moderately raked bow, two working funnels but still featuring the old-time overhanging counterstern, also known as a fantail, on such liners as Olympic and Aquitania. Rex was the first to be completed and was christened on August 1st, 1931 in the presence of King Victor Emmanuel III and Queen Elena. She was both larger and faster than Conte de Savoia. Her attempt of a record-breaking maiden voyage was unsuccessful. She sailed from Denoa in September 1932 after a send-off from Premier Benito Mussolini with a passenger list of international celebrities. While approaching Gilbroth, Gibraltar, serious mechanical difficulties arose. Repairs took three days. Half her passengers requested to leave preferring to reach Germany's coast and take Europa. Arriving in New York, they found Rex already at dock. Lengthy repairs were required in New York before returning to Europa. She arrived in Genoa on October 26, making her first west to east crossing in six and a half days. In August 1933, Rex fulfilled the promise of, his des of her designers and captured the blue ribbon on its westbound crossing with a time of four days and 13 hours with an average speed of 28.92 knots. This record would last until 1935 when it was captured by the French lines Normandy. Following the outbreak of war, both Rex and Conte de Savoia continued regular Mediterranean cruises as if totally unaffected by events of the north. In the end, Italian liners proved to be among the final ships trading on a commercial basis. Their voyage ceased in the spring of 1940 and then they were returned to Italian ports for safekeeping, with Rex laid up at Genoa. But after the city was bombed, the Italian line decided to move it to Trista. To prevent German forces from using the liner to blockade the harbor entrance, Rex was more moved near Pula, where she laid for some time. On September 6, 1944, Rex was spotted under tow south of Trista by Royal Air Force pilot and showed a slight, slight list. On September 8, 1944, she was attacked by Capodistria Bay, south of Trista, by 12 RAF Bristol Bue fighters aircraft with 272 Squadron, escorted by 9 North American P-51 Mustang aircraft, assigned to 15th Air Force 52nd Fighter Group. 
She was listed on fire after being struck by 59 RP-3 rockets and numerous 20mm cannon shells. A second attack later that day by 12 more BU fighters of 39 squadrons and 16 squadrons South African Air Force resulted in her turning over and sinking in shallow waters. In 1946, officials of the Italian steamship line proposed to salvage wrecks and recommission it. However, the liner had been sunk in a portion of the harbor allocated to Yugoslavia, which blocked any recovery. The remains of wrecks, about one third of the ship, included double bottom boilers and engines, are located off the Slovenian coast in the Gulf of Koper. The res was scavenged for scrap iron in the 1950s by the local government. It was said that the ship was the largest Slovenian iron mine at the time. Since 1954, after the formal annexation of Zone B of the Free Territory Trieste to Yugoslavia, an anchor claimed to be from Rex has been deplaced in Congress Square of the Slovenian capital Ljubljana to symbolize the defeat of fascist expansion. expansion. Though claimed to be from the liner, this anchor is not of the dead dreadnought style that Rex had 